Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, was at the top of the list issued by Women's Leadership Initiative that was announced by the European Union delegation to the permanent mission of Gabon to the United Nations on the occasion of UNESCO's launch of the International Day of Women in Multilateralism. Her Royal Highness was chosen as part of a number of world-leading women in the multilateralism field in view of the leading positions held by Her Royal Highness in various developmental and societal fields for her efforts and contributions to the advancement of women at the national level and for creating an encouraging and supportive ground for competencies building qualitative experiences and highlighting them on regional and international platforms. The initiative the initiative celebrates the clear impact of Her Royal Highness's efforts through her presidency of the SCW, which is represented, uh, represented uh, following up on the progress of Bahraini women and supporting their participation in the field of political work, decision-making, contributions to the national economy, and provision of the pillars of family stability. As Her Royal Highness contributed to many initiatives that achieve gender balance requirements in all aspects of national development, in addition to her interest in supporting projects aimed at increasing Bahraini families' contributions to the economy and civil society institutions. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, SCYS, the president of the General Sports Authority, GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the 2022 edition of Brave International Combat Week, featuring exceptional championships, including Brave CF57 and the MMA Super Cup. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that Bahrain has become an ideal destination for major sports events at the continental and international levels as the result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and by Her Royal Highness, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness stated that he has sketched his vision to support the MMA sports, which has become the center of attention from across the world. Bahrain has accomplished tremendous achievements in this sport, foremost of which is topping the IMMAF rank, as well as the introduction of Brave CF. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added that the kingdom is the favorite destination for the IMMAF after earning the trust and confidence of the Federation following the organization of three tremendously successful world championships. As a result, the right to host and organize the first edition of the MMA Super Cup had been granted. He stated that Brave CF 57 represents a great opportunity for professional fighters to encounter each other. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the hugely successful opening ceremony, stressing that it confirms the high capabilities and abilities of Bahrain to organize such great events.
The Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, received a representative speaker, Fawziya Zainal. His Highness conveyed the greetings of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He stressed the deep historical Bahraini Kuwaiti relations and their progress in various fields. His Highness Sheikh Mish'al praised the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in promoting bilateral cooperation in various fields. The Speaker conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King, of Ku uh, of the King to Kuwait Emir and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to His Highness the Kuwaiti Crown Prince. She affirmed the keenness of the Council of Representatives to strengthen bilaterally relations and stressed Bahrain's stance in supporting joint action. Health Minister Faiq al-Saleh received her Israeli counterpart Nizan Horotsvik and his accompanying delegation who are currently on an official visit to the kingdom. This Israeli delegation visit to the kingdom aims to follow up on enhancing means of joint cooperation between the two sides according to what was agreed upon after previous meetings to discuss health issues. Minister Saleh welcomed the delegation and commended the level of the ongoing cooperation between the two sides, stressing the importance of broadening cooperation between the two countries, especially in the health and medical fields, to achieve common aspirations. During the meeting, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al Mana, gave a presentation about the health system in the kingdom, highlighting its achievements and progress over more than 100 years. The visiting delegation praised the kingdom's robust health system and the competence of the qualified national health staff that work hard and diligently in accordance with the approved international standards. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,231,571 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,213,624 had taken the second and 967,398 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 17,835, with 2,640 recoveries, 1,896 registered new cases and two deaths. There are 34 active cases receiving treatment and 11 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,461 total deaths, while 511,434 have recovered from the virus. The ministry expressed condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. Road transport plays a pivotal role in the development of the economy of the Kingdom of Bahrain, which makes the organization and development of this sector a necessity. More in this report. The economic vision of the Kingdom of Bahrain opened wide horizons for many sectors in the Kingdom, including the transportation sector, specifically land transport, which plays a vital role in the economic vision on the one hand and achieves the goals of sustainable development goals on the other hand. The government paid great attention to the need to develop and activate public transportation in the Kingdom. The Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications has made remarkable progress in developing public transportation in the Kingdom by providing an effective public transportation system and developing infrastructure to accelerate economic diversification and attract the participation of private investors to provide public services in order to provide a better life for all citizens and residents. The Ministry also developed an integrated strategic plan for the development of the public transportation system in the Kingdom, including raising the efficiency of the infrastructure, drawing up policies and laws, in addition to supervising public transport sector operators to improve the level of performance and efficiency.